Hey, let me take a few minutes to give you my story. Hopefully this will help inspire you and help you understand that you can be victorious. You can be an overcomer. And all you can do is control what you can. You can excel where you can by making the best choices that you can make. Okay, so, and looking at those four examples that we talked about and so what, I basically walked in all four of those examples. I'm going to kind of bullet point them for you and kind of say, hey, here's how I dealt with stuff. So I joined, you know, my thing was I joined school activities, the debate team, the academic team, the oratory team, the basketball team, and junior high school and moving forward. Look, I needed something positive in my life. I needed reinforcement on making good choices. So although it was still a time of struggle, it was still a time of verbal and physical abuse, I needed an outlet that could get me out of those environments, even for a little bit of time. And those are the things that I did. I, you know, anger aggression training, you know, through the church and through mentors like my pastor and grandparents, they gave me my value. They told me to hang in there. They told me not to become a statistic. They told me not to let my anger rule me like I was the Hulk and out of control. They showed me things. They took, they took natural things and gave and turned them into spiritual examples that simplified my life and made me more and gave me more power in how I reacted to things and what I did. Hey, I focused on my education to open up opportunities. But again, like I said, I still acted out. There are going to be some times where you may slip up, but do not fall and stay there. Get up, reposition yourself towards the good things and making good choices and making blessed so, um, um, choices. Also, I was blessed with supportive role models. I had coaches, teachers who were very had who were positive influence in my life. You know, but again, times are going to come when you struggle. Despair is going to come. But at the end of the day, push forward. You know, seek them out. Find them. Add, ask them to ask them questions. Seek out answers. Don't just allow the negativity to 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 to, to um, destroy your soul and, and and make you a defeated person. When when you can be a victor. You know, as I got older, I was always able to find some kind of employment, um, whether it was harvesting in the fields in the agriculture world in South Carolina, whether it was hustling, lawn care, raking yard, cutting grass, uh, going to the going to the grocery stores and helping people take their groceries. Some of the stuff we don't do today, but look, it gave me an out from my home. It gave me the ability to make my own money and do some things with those finances that helped me invest in my future. Look, I eventually joined the Army Reserve while I was in high school, and eventually I made it to college after that. Hey, your life is still your life. You still are in control. You can make decisions. I got caught up shoplifting at, at one point, got, got caught in fights and arguments and things of that nature. You know, suspended from school from time to time. But you know what? I acted out. And because I acted out, these things occurred. But you can always recover. Hey, don't do those things. I'm not saying that you should do those things. But what I am saying is that when disparity comes, when issues come, when they show up, because, you know, they're talking about your dad in prison or they're talking about your clothes because you don't have the money for the best stuff in, in the world, just remember that you don't have to fall for that stuff. You can be disciplined in your approach and still defend yourself when necessary. Hey, I met my bi biological father my senior year in high school. He was released after 16 and a half years in prison in Columbia Correctional Institute in South Carolina. And I met with him. I saw him at my graduation. I was at my high school graduation. I was able to spend some time with him and get to know him. But a year and a half later, from medical complications, he died. So you know what? Your parents are doing the best that they can. Maybe they're repeating the cycle. Maybe they don't know better. I'm not saying they're right. I'm not saying embrace everything that they did, but they are your parents and you got to respect them and honor them to the best that you can, but there you can choose who your mentors are. 
You can choose your path. You can make plans for your plan for your future and not allow the status quo to dictate your life. I hope this story, you know, inspires you. I hope this story lets you know that you can always come back from the abyss and that there's always hope no matter what situations. You just have to make good choices and plan out the future that you want, not the future that people are pushing on you to do or are speaking negative things over you that you won't amount to anything, that you aren't any good, that you're that you're apple off of the same tree. Hey, so on the next slide, we're going to ask you some more reflective questions based on what we've talked about in the so what section here. And in the next section, we're going to move on to, so you want to be a victor. So you want to be an overcomer. What are the things, what are the other things you can do to become an overcomer, to be victor, to be victorious in your life and to move on in the future that you have, that you have planned for yourself and the, in the future that can move mountains.